Hello, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the session. Uh, let's quickly confirm that we are good to go this morning. So if you can see my screen and you can hear my voice clearly, type in hi in the comment section so we can get this started. If you can see my screen and you can hear my voice clearly, type in hi in the comment section, please. I need some feedback so that I know that we are good to go this morning. So let's see what we have in the comment section. All right. Okay. VV, how are you doing this morning? Good morning. Thank you. Uh, Roslan, hi. How are you? Gatita, good morning to you. Raven Crow, good morning. Glad to have you around. Hey, Carrie, good morning. Thank you very, very much. All right. So with a positive feedback here, let's get this started. I'm excited to welcome you to another promising session on the Extra and Speed Life. My name is Sharif Daramola and for the next one hour, I will be your host as we take a technical dissection of the current market structure in order to decipher trading opportunities lining up for us today. And so today is the second day of the week and the week appeared to have started on a very slow note here as most of the major pairs that we have been monitoring has been going through some consolidation phase in the last 24 hours. And in fact, not until early on this morning that we begin to see some bullish traction as regards the US dollar. And uh, we were actually thinking that we might be having some breakthrough uh, following the positive news um, during the course of the weekend, that is the bailout of the of the Swiss bank. Um, but it appears that participants in this market are still testing waters. They're still a little bit risk averse and conscious in taking a move as um, everyone is looking forward to the macroeconomic event coming up today. Like I showed you on the economic calendar, we have the FOMC. The federal monetary policy statements interest rate decision consumer price index for the job uh, for the for the pound sterling and these are major macroeconomic event that everyone is looking forward to and this is why we have been seeing this consolidation phase across the market so it's going to be a little bit slow but we need to be very very patient so that we don't get caught up in any compulsive action um, going forward so we shall be diving into the details here so what do we have today in terms of the fundamental perspective in the market? Well, um, since we are including the CAD JPY to our watch list, this was introduced to us yesterday by one of us in the house. Um, we are looking forward to an event coming up today. That is the consumer price index, which definitely gives us an insight into the inflation status of the Canadian economy and the previous data that that um, the previous data last last month was 5% here compared to the consensus of 4.6%. So majority are expecting a drop in the inflation. So let's see what is really going to be happening in the next um, couple of hours. Are we going to be having figures beyond expectation or below expectation or as expected uh, as we have here? So in that regard, we shall be looking at the chart to see price action. Let's, we shall be looking forward to see how participants in this market will be anticipating this event. So with that being said here, let's dive into the current market structure. So as usual, the first commodity we are going to be looking at this morning is the um, U.S. oil. And on the U.S. oil, we, we took our first loss yesterday, as we remember during the live session yesterday i told us all that we have a sell position running below the 65 dollar area but unfortunately we saw price action take us out of our position and with the situation of things right now it appears that we are beginning to see some bullish traction begin at around the 65 dollar level here and remember i told you how important the 65 dollar level has been uh, when we looked at the higher time frame. So we shall be looking at that in a moment. But I want to quickly take us through what actually happened here in the last 24 hours. 
after which we are going to be going into the higher time frame to have a holistic view on how to position ourselves ahead of the New York session. So in the last 24 hours in the market, despite the fact that price was a little bit choppy in this market, as you all know, we identified here yesterday uh, the resistant point at the $67.50 level, which was cited here uh, during our live session yesterday. And we also had a support line sitting at the $65 level, which is serving as the support line for this week. And in fact, the reason why that $65 level has been a key structure with this current market structure is the fact that it shares a beautiful confluence with that supply support line of that descending channel we identified on the higher time frame. We shall be looking at that in a moment anyway, so that we can have a better perspective into what I'm talking about. And at the same time, the $65 level happens to be the lowest point price action has ever been since December 2021, making that area a key structure to look forward to to see how participants in the market will be reacting to that structure. And obviously, what we saw here, um, we saw our buy pressure resume around that area, sharp rejection of that structure, negating all attempt by the sellers to break down that level. And as a result of this, we saw our price action continue to find higher highs and higher lows, giving us a signal of a possible bullish momentum after a breakout of the $67.50 level. And if you remember vividly yesterday, we had a buy stop order just right above the structure so that we can be part of that bullish momentum if it so happens that price action breaks out of that level. And right now we have the buy position triggered. And if you are part of this position right now, well done to you for being on standby as you will currently be running with over um, over a hundred pips in profit at this particular point in time. So well done guys for everyone who has been part of this profitable journey so far. Now the next thing we want to be doing based on this current structure is to secure this current position. As you can see, price action is currently trending along a trend line which we identified at the beginning of the week around that area. So it is very important for us to remain patient around this area to decide if we are going to be adding more position or are we going to be getting ready to join another wave of bearish momentum. So we are at a critical point right now at the $68.50 level where it also shares a confluence with that bearish trend line. So in order to have a better perspective into what is going on here, let's quickly run through the daily time frame. Let's have an holistic view of what is really going on in this market, after which we shall be coming back down here to make a decision for today. So going into the daily time frame, what was the structure we saw here during the live session yesterday? So I will be resetting the, GP, the US oil chart right here. And well, when we looked at the US oil chart on the daily time frame, the first thing we actually observed at the beginning of the week is the fact that price action has been bearish for the last 8 to 10 months. And if we go to as far back as the month of uh, July last year, you can see price action continue to find lower lows and lower highs. And when we connected the series of lower highs here, we had that beautiful bearish trend line which has been um, guiding that bearish momentum to the downside. However, things got a little bit interesting in the month of November here. As you can see, price action was caught within the channel which lasted for about four to five months in this market. So we had a supply supply zone at around the $83, $80 zone here, which has been a strong selling niche in this market as every attempt by the buyers to break out of that structure has been met with strong resistance from the sellers. Then we saw price action fell into the lowest point it had been in the last one year. That is the $70 area. We saw buy pressure above that area to give us a beautiful demand zone. However, during the course of last week trading session, we finally saw the breakdown of that $70 area with an engulfing bearish candle to give us a signal of a possible bearish momentum to the downside. And like I told you yesterday, this bearish engulfing candle breaking out of that lowest point here um, has a fundamental reason behind it. And this was as a result of the banking crisis that happened across the, the US and the Europe. And this is one thing that um, definitely will be affecting the US, com US oil commodity. 
as the liquidity to run this market is from the banks and issue with the bank will definitely bring some caution into um, uh, the borrowing power of the bank and the borrowing tendency of the bank and as a result of this we saw that little crash to the downside now that we're going into the new week uh, we want to see if this breakdown will actually hold how is it going to be a turn? Is it going to turn out to be a false breakdown where price action might likely climb above back this seventy dollar level to begin a strong wave to the upside? So these are things that we were trying to figure out as at yesterday. But with the look of things right now, coupled with what happened on Friday here, it is very likely that we might be seeing the sixty five dollar level serve as a demand zone for this week. As you can see here in the last four days. We saw that as soon as price got into that $65 area, we have been witnessing buy pressure resume around that area. Now, there are two tendencies to this buy pressure we notice here. It could be a retracement of that previous impulse leg that struck that, struck that $65 level. As you can see, we had an impulsive move to the downside here. Breaking out two key structures, we have the bullish trend line. Remember, we had this bullish trend line identified at the beginning of the year which was broken to the downside. Then we also have the significant breakdown of the $70 level. And so with this continued buy pressure around this area, this could likely be a counter trend opportunity where price action will probably retrace to either of the structures in anticipation of another wave of bearish momentum to the downside. So we could see price action come into the $70 level or in fact go to as far as the retracing back into that um, bullish trend line that was broken during the course of last week to incite that bearish move to the downside. So these are things we are going to be looking at. But one thing for sure is that we want to be part of this retracement if that is going to be the case here or it could turn out to be a long-term bullish move to the upside. Then I also had it um, to this perspective here when we scaled up a little bit to the weekly time frame as we want to see if the structure at the $65 level as a memory for trading possibility and when we scaled up into the weekly time frame this is what i was able to share with you here on the weekly time frame and um the the 65 dollar level happens to be a level which has been a major determinant of price action as you can see if we go to as far back as 2005 on this chart you will see how this level has been a strong selling niche at one point and a strong buy niche at another point in time. And in addition to that $65 level, I was able to identify a bullish trend line when we go to as far back as 2016. I connected the series of higher lows here, so we had this bullish trend line figured out. Though we had a breakdown here in the, month, in, the, in the year 2019, but price action climbed above in 2020, and since then price action has continued to respect that bullish trend line. And look at what we have here during the course of last week's trading session. We saw price action hit the bullish trend line again here, which also shares a beautiful confluence with that $65 level. So at this point in time, you would agree with me that we are at a critical point in this market where the option of a bullish momentum could strike from this area if buy pressure continues above the $65 level, respecting that bullish trend line one more time to incite another wave have bullish momentum to the upside. However, if price action breaks down the $65 level, definitely selling pressure below this area will be triggering a sell position. But since the beginning of this week, what we have seen here is more of a buy pressure as price action has remained above the $65 level most of the time this week. And I'm of the opinion that we might be seeing some bullish momentum, which I said earlier could likely be a retracement of that impulsive move, which we will later know at one point in time if price action gets into the retest of either of those structures we identified on the daily time frame. So with this information we have gathered here on the daily and the weekly time frame, let's scale back down to the one hour time frame where we want to be seeing things more clearly and at the same time position ourselves in such a way that we want to be joining this potential opportunity in this market. And obviously, what we want to be looking out for around this area is more of a bullish momentum here. So we want to be seeing some buy pressure on our one-hour time frame. 
now when we scale down to the one hour time frame here this is what we were able to see and remember we we are, we are already in a buy position in this market and i've told you already that we should be moving our stop loss to secure this current position however there is something i shared with you here on the four hours time frame yesterday which i need us to see clearly so that we can have a better perspective into what is really going on in this market now if you look at the structure here on the four hours time frame you would notice that since the month since the beginning of the month of march we have seen how price action has consistently found lower lows and lower highs and to further buttress the, the strength of the sellers in this particular market we already have a descending channel to figure that out after connecting the series of lower highs and lower lows here we have a beautiful descending channel and if you look at the structure here that is the second half of last week's trading session after price action broke down that significant level at the 70 dollar area we saw a little consolidation phase happen between the 70 and the 65 dollar area to give us a beautiful channel which has a tendency of giving us transitioning into either a reversal pattern or a trend continuation to the downside but the inability of sellers to break down the 65 dollar level during the early hours of this week is more or less a sign that buyers might likely take out the structure whereby this current structure could transition into a trend continuation pattern and as a result of this we wanted to know how participants in this market has been reacting within this channel here at the beginning of the week to have a clue into what our expectation will be and since we already have a buy position running here i told us all to move our stop loss accordingly to secure that current position running as we want to see our price action will be reacting to that 68 dollar 50 cent level so presently this is where price action is right now exactly at the 68 dollar 50 cent level and look at what is happening around that area it also shares a beautiful confluence with that trend line which we identified within that descending channel so let me zoom out a little bit so that you can see the importance of that trend line so this is why i wanted us to see what is going on on a much more higher time frame so that you will be able to acknowledge the importance of that structure and how important this confluence will be determining how we are going to be trading the us oil for today so now look at the trend line here it was at one point in time though it was finding lower lows at this point where we've been seen by pressure but the pressure of the buyers wasn't strong so price action continued to find lower lows and then not until on tuesday last week we saw the breakdown retest of that trend line and since then price action has been trading below that trend line hereby seeing the situation that we have here and now that price is back at that structure the question now is is price going to break out of the structure or is it going to respect the structure one more time to incite another wave of bearish momentum to the downside so there are two things we want to be looking out for here selling pressure below the 68 dollar 50 cent level to sell price crashing to the downside or a breakout of the 68 dollar 50 cent level to send price climbing further to the upside here by welcoming additional position to our existing trade and if possible break out of the 70 dollar level or break out of the resistant line of that descending channel to further emphasize the resumption of buying pressure in this market so these are the things we are going to be looking at here so we shall be scaling down to a much more lower time frame so that we can understand and see how price action has been reacting to the 68 dollar 50 cent level to decide what we want to be doing next now back to the one hour time frame here it's more obvious now we can see how price is relating to that structure we saw um the last candle the previous candle here is a little bit bullish here but not as huge as the um one that happened two hours ago and right now we have a situation here where we have been seeing some bullish pressure resume just above the 68 dollar 50 cent level and if you had actually bought above that area it's okay just have your stop loss somewhere right around the 68 dollar 50 cent level but if you are not yet in this trade we shall be scaling down to a much more lower time frame to see what the structure might likely transition into now we shall be scaling down to a much lower time frame like the 15 minutes time frame so that we can see things more clearly here so um, this is the 15 minutes time frame and we can acknowledge the bearish trend line where price action has been rejected for quite some time now 
and price action is currently finding a consolidation phase just around the $68.50 level to further emphasize that there is an indecision in this market. So are we going to be having the breakout of this trend line or are we going to be having a situation where price will reject that structure transition into a reversal pattern to send price crashing back to the downside? So in order to guide our trading activity for today, I want us to first of all acknowledge the strength of the buyers in this market since the beginning of this week. And the only way we can do that is by acknowledging the higher lows in this current market. So to do that, we shall be bringing out our line chart. Then we want to be connecting this series of higher lows here so that we can have a structure that we can use to guide trading activity for this week. So for today, rather. And so we have something like this. I think we're still going to need some readjustment here when we bring back our candle chart. So let's bolden this a little bit so that we can signify its importance. And can we make it a little bit, can we give it a gold color instead so that um, it becomes more clearer for us to see all right. So now we have the structure figured out. So we have, so you can see what is happening right here. So since the beginning of this week, price action has consistently respected this bullish trend line here by finding higher highs and higher lows in that regard. So one thing we are going to be doing today is to use this bullish trend line as a yardstick for trading activity for this week. So whatever position we have right now, our stop loss should just cannot be above the trend line, but just right below the trend line, probably somewhere around the $67.50 level at this particular point in time. So Heading into the New York session today, we want to see price action continue to trade above this bullish trend line for us to be comfortable in our buy position. So if price drops below the $68.50 level, we don't need to be worried or scared or anxious at all as we still have a bust up around this area just above the $67.50 level where another opportunity could come in if we start seeing buy pressure resume around that area to the upside. So as long as price remain above this bullish trend line, we shall feel comfortable in our buy position. And like I said earlier, if you have a buy position already triggered above the $68.50 level, it's okay. Just have your stop loss somewhere right around the $67.50 level, which will be dovetailing to about 90 pips or 95 pips in stop loss in this particular market, which is not bad anyways. And let's see how far this bullish momentum will go. And if it continues to the upside in such a way that price action breaks out of the $70 level, we want to be adding more position to our existing trade on the US haul. Now, in as much as we look out for buying opportunity on this chart, I always say that you, you know what we always do here. We always ensure that we also look at the possibility of the opposite direction so that whenever it happens, we don't leave it to go away like that and we lose out on that opportunity. So in that regard, with this current situation and considering the fact that we are going to be using this bullish trend line as our yardstick for trading activity, if it so happens that price action breaks down that bullish trend line to the downside, and then at this point, we are going to be anticipating a momentum shift. But we are not going to be joining right away if price action breaks down the trend line, which also shares a confluence with a $67.50 level. We want to see if price action give us further confirmation to give us that confidence to be able to join that sell momentum. And what we want to be seeing as a confirmation should reflect on the chart as a retracement back into structure. It could be a retracement into the $67.50 level or it could go to as far back as the bullish trend line here. And the most important pattern we want to be seeing is selling pressure resume below the structure. It could evolve into a reversal pattern on our lower time frame. Then we could join that trend continuation to the downside. So this is the only reason why we want to be selling the US oil for today. Only if price action breaches that bullish trend line. But if price action remains above the structure, definitely we want to be comfortable in our buy position. So that is my view here on the US oil for today. If you do have any questions, feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section. And um, on this note, I hope you screenshotted my chart so that you can use it as a reference point when you're about to make your individual decision 
on the US oil. So with that being said here, I will be moving on to the next option. And the next option we shall be looking at this morning is the US tech. Now on the US tech, um, this is what we saw during the live session yesterday and you can see the situation has been quite choppy in this market. So in the last 24 hours, price has continued to trade within that tight range, that tight $200 range between the $12,620 and the $12,410 level, which giving us a clue that there is quite an indecision in this market. So as you can see, we have the resistant line for this week sitting at the 12,620. Price is yet to break out of that structure. So that is the highest point price action has ever been for this week. And then we also have the support line for the week sitting at the 12,410. And since yesterday, you can see our price has been trading around that area. And to further guide our trading activity yesterday, what I did here to make things a little bit easy for us to be able to identify a potential trading opportunity was to see um, connect the series of lower highs here. So we identify this bearish trend line, which I said a breakdown of the $12,410 level will welcome our sell position, but we shall be using this trend line to guide our selling opportunities in this market. But since yesterday, we have not seen a breakdown of the 12410 hereby negating any selling opportunity in this particular market. And I made mention of something yesterday. I said, if the boat bearish trend line is broken to the downside, retest of structure will definitely be welcoming a buy position in this market in anticipation of a breakout of the $12,620 level. And look at what happened here during the later part of the New York session yesterday. We finally saw the breakout of the bearish trend line price action came back to do a retest of structure multiple times just right around the 12,550 level, a very strong psychological level considering the round figure of that price. And since then, price action has continued to climb to the upside. And if you have been part of this trading opportunity, if you are taking advantage of that opportunity, well done to you for being on standby to have caught that move as you will currently be running with about 70 pips in profit at this point. Now, for those who are taking advantage of this trading opportunity at the breakout of the 12,550, what you want to be doing right now is to secure your position by moving your stop loss accordingly to your entry point area just around the 12,550 to secure this current position. And why is it necessary that we secure our position here? Well, if you look at the current structure here and look at what has been happening in this market in the last 24 hours, you will see that we have been witnessing selling pressure around the 12,260 level, which is serving as the resistant line for that channel we identified at the beginning of the week. So with a continued selling pressure around this area, there is a high chance that price action could start doing a reversal step up around this area here by bringing price crashing further to the downside. So with this information, we want to definitely be securing our position against any of the sudden pullback that might likely happen. So kindly move your stop loss to somewhere right around the 12,550 as we wait out and see how price action will be reacting to the structure at the 12,620 level today. And this will be deciding if we are going to be buying or selling the US oil for today. Now, I told us yesterday that, um, we are going to be having a buy stop order right above the 12,620 just in case price action breaks out of that structure and so that we don't miss out on that opportunity. So let's have our buy stop order still remaining there when we are not deleting that order. And let's see if we are going to be seeing a retest of structure by pressure above that level, which will definitely welcome additional position to our existing trade on the US tech. So if price action breaks out of the 12,620, then at this point, we shall feel very, very, very comfortable in our buy position on the US deck for today. So these are my views here and these are my expectations looking out for buying opportunity in this market. But if the sell pressure continues below this 12,620 during the New York session, in such a way that price drops back below the 12,550, dropping back below this bearish trend line we identified yesterday, then definitely continued selling pressure below the structure will definitely uh, be welcoming a sell position in this market. 
and if price action continues to drop to the downside, a breakdown retest of that support line at the $12,410 level will definitely be welcoming additional position to our sell position. And remember we identified a TP target zone yesterday which falls around the $12,300 and the $12,050 area which is a very wide TP target zone so we want to see how price action will be react relating to this current structure in the next couple of hours. So stay tuned in, monitor price action, uh, screenshot my screen so that you can use it as a reference point when you're about to make your individual decision on the US tech. If you do have any questions regarding what I just explained so far, feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section below. All right, so I will be checking the comment section from time to time. So while I move on to the next pair for today. So the next pair we shall be looking at for today. Okay, I can see Steam Roller. Hey, Steam Roller, how are you doing this, this morning? It's been a while since I saw you. Trust you are doing well at work. <laughs> All right, uh, Dino, you're welcome. 414, you're welcome. Good morning to you, 4114. 939 good morning to you too as well cast how are you doing this morning trust you are doing well 570 i see you cyprian i see you too oh stimula has been busy i trust you <laughs> have fun while i've been busy okay <laughs> all right so in the absence of no questions i want to assume that we're on the same page here so i will be moving right into the next pair we shall be treating, which is the JBP USD. Well, on the JBP USD yesterday, we were lucky enough to be part of this buy position as we saw price action break out, retest the structure right during the live session yesterday. And if you remember, if you recall vividly how we identified the channel right at the beginning of the week, just right around the 1.2200 level. And if you remember vividly, I told you how important the 1.2200 level is. It has been a strong selling niche in this market for quite a while in this market. I will be showing you the importance of that structure. I will be showing you the four hours time frame so that we can all understand the importance of that current structure there. So since the beginning of the week, we saw the situation here where price action was trapped within the range of the 1.22100 level and the 1.21700 area. So we had our resistance point here had the 1.22100 area and the 1.21700 level serving as the support line for this channel. And you all know what we look out for whenever we have a simple setup like this. What we want to be seeing is either price breaks out of the channel for buying opportunity or price action breaks down the channel for selling opportunity. And what we saw here during the live session yesterday was quite interesting. We saw the breakout retest of that resistant line had a 1.22100 level to trigger our buy position. And in fact, price action moved about 60 to 70 pips in our favor before the sell pressure began in this market. Then we also had another position I told us yesterday that we should be having a buy stop order above the 1.22450 level which will definitely be welcoming additional position to our existing trade. And this was exactly what happened here. Price action moved about 35 pips in our, in our favor before the sell momentum was observed in this market. Now, with the situation of things right now, it appears that price action has taken out the first buy position, but the, sec sorry, the second buy position has been taken out here, and the first buy position is still running at this particular point in time. Remember I told us all to move the stop loss if price action move accordingly in our favor as we continue to monitor price action. Now with the situation we have right here, price action breaking down the 1.22450 level with an engulfing bearish candle, are we going to be having a sell momentum for today or is this going to turn out to be a false breakdown where bullish momentum will resume again right above the structure to incite the second wave? Of the bullish momentum for this week so this question we are going to be answering this question when we take a closer dissection of the daily time frame to see what is really going on from a long-term perspective then we shall be coming back down here to make a decision for today 
So the first thing we are going to be doing right now is to scale up into the daily time frame. Let's see what is really going on from an holistic point of view, after which we shall be coming back down here to the one hour time frame to make a decision. Well, on the daily time frame here, which you can see on your screen, it is quite obvious that price action has been bullish in the last four to five months. The bullish momentum started here in the month of October, September stroke October here and since then price action had continued to find higher highs and higher lows hereby respecting this bullish trend line all the way up into the 1.24500 level. And in fact we saw um, since the beginning of the year as well, we saw buy pressure resume just along that bullish trend line to further emphasize the strength of the buyers in this market. However, something interesting happened in this market since the month of December last year. We saw how the 1.24500 level has been negating all attempt by the buyers to break out of the structure. And as you can see, continued sudden pressure around this area has been very, very evident in the last um, three months in this market. Now, the continued selling pressure here, um, the month of January stroke February of this year, led to the final breakdown of that bullish trend line here, which happened to be the first time the bullish trend line will be broken in the last four to five months. And following the breakdown of the bullish trend line, we saw price action drop back into the 1.1800 level, a level where price action started this year, as you can see. And as soon as price got into that level, we saw another wave of bullish momentum began from that area. And what this simply tells us is that the 1.18500 level has a very, very strong memory for buying power in this market. Now, the breakout of the bearish trend line here, which supported the bearish momentum to the downside throughout the month of February, was finally broken during the course of last week's trading session to further emphasize the strength of the buyers in this market. And at the beginning of this week, what we saw here after the breakout retest of this trend line here, we said there is a high chance that price action will be going bullish in this market if it all happens that we have a breakout of the 1.2200 level. And what we have seen so far here, price action is currently trading above the 1.2200 level, which is more or less a sign that we might be seeing a bullish momentum that might bring us back into that supply zone had the 1.24500 area. So now what we want to be doing in anticipation of the New York session today is to see our participants in this market will be trading just right above the 1.2200 level. And if we look at what has been happening in this market in the last um, 24 hours, you will see and notice that the 1.22850 level has been rejecting all bullish attempts to continue to the upside here. So there is a likelihood that we could be having a retracement to the downside. Obviously, whenever we have a breakout of structure, we might likely be seeing price do a retest of the structure in anticipation of another wave. So we are going to probably see prop a reversal pattern resume here in the hopes that price will retrace back into structure in anticipation of another wave to the upside or we could have price action transition into a trend continuation pattern around this area on our lower time frame to incite a breakout retest to further emphasize the strength of the buyers in this market. So with the information we've gathered here on the one on the daily time frame, we now understand that we need to see what is going on around the 1.2 to 850 level to decide what our next line of action will be. So in that regard, we shall be scaling back down into our one hour time frame to see how participants in this market has been reacting to the 1.2 to 850 level to decide if we are going to be buying or selling the JPUSD. And remember, for those who are already in that buy position, I told you that we should be moving our stop loss to secure the current position and let's see how far this bullish momentum will go. Now back to the one hour time frame here. The first thing I did on the one hour time frame was to acknowledge the bullish momentum that is observed here since the midweek of last week's trading session. And if we do that judiciously, you will see that we have a higher low. And when we connect the series of higher low here, I have this major bullish trend line, which is a thick one on your screen right now. 
so i have that major bullish trend line figured out then as soon as we got into the second couple of days into the last trading day of the week we saw another deviation to that bullish trend line which i will be calling a temporary bullish trend line at least as you can see since thursday last week price has been respecting that trend line even this week as well we saw the respect of that bullish trend line now with the situation of things look at this price has broken down the trend line the first time in three days price action breaks down that trend line also sharing a confluence with that 1.22450 level so is this going to be a retracement of this bullish momentum obviously if you look at the structure here it is quite obvious that the a retracement phase is long overdue in this market so we want to be seeing profit taking activities happen if price action continue to trade below the 1.22450 level and if you are a cautious trader you might want to see price action break down this bullish trend line to give us that signal that we might be in for a momentum shift and if you look at the breakdown of that bullish trend line it also shares a beautiful confluence with that 1.220 level which i told you earlier is a strong sell zone in this market i think we saw that clearly on the four hours time frame so for the sake of clarity let's quickly run through the four hours time frame here so that we can see things more clearly so you can see the 1.220 level has been a strong seller niche throughout the month of february in this market so if price action drops below that structure we might likely be seeing another sell momentum begin around that area so we are going to be focusing below the 1.2200 level for selling opportunities today so let's keep this in mind as we continue to monitor price action so if price action breaks down the 1.2200 level breaks down the bullish trend line here then we definitely want to be looking forward to selling opportunities then continued selling pressure retest of structure will be welcoming additional position to our existing trade on the GBP USD. Now, what happens if price action does not drop to the downside here but instead continues to climb and find higher highs? Well, remember we already have a buy position running at this point. I will be advising us to position ourselves above the 1.22850 level here a level which has been the second resistant line for this week as you can see during the new york session during the later part of the new york session yesterday we begin to see sell pressure resume around that area so one thing i would like to do here to add more position to my buy position here is to see price action break out retest the 1.22850 level to join that trend continuation to the upside so let's see how price action does on that one so we should be having a buy stop order above the 1.2 to 8.50 so that we can be part of that bullish momentum to the upside then another thing about this current structure is the fact that since we have a bullish trend line here and the trend line will be our yardstick for trading activity for today so if price action drops below the 1.2 to 4.50 back into the structure but unable to break down the structure and if we start seeing buy pressure resume above the 1.2 to 100 level, uh, we might be in to add more position to our existing trade. So let's put this in mind too as well as we continue to monitor price action. You might also want to screenshot my screen so that you can use it as a reference point when you're about to make your individual decision on the GBP USD. So that is that on the GBP USD on the gpusd for today if you have questions feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section so moving on we shall be taking on the xau usd which is one of the pairs that we have been monitoring since the beginning of the week and what do we have here on the xau usd well looking at the current market structure here on the xau usd the first thing we observed on the one hour time frame is our price action was trapped between the 1990 and the 1970 it's a $20 range that we had here at the beginning of the week and one thing we normally you know we normally look out for whenever we see this kind of channel is to wait out and be patient for either a breakout or breakdown of that channel for trading opportunity and during the early hours of yesterday we saw the breakout of the resistant line of that 
of that 1990 as you can see here and during the live session yesterday i told us all that we might be anticipating another wave of bullish momentum as the signal here cannot be ignored and in that regard i told us all to have a buy stop order just right above the 1990 level with the hope that price will continue to the upside and with another buy stop order above the $2,000 level so that we can add more position to our existing trade. But something interesting happened in this market since our live session yesterday and what we saw here was more of sudden pressure in this market as price action continued to find lower highs. And if you look at since my last session here on the extra and speed live, we can see that price is yet to find a new high. As you can see, the 1,985 level has continued to reject all attempt by the buyers to break out, break out of that structure. And what this simply tells us is that there is a tendency, there is a high chance that there is there are traces of sellers in this market, which might likely send send a signal for a sell-off in the nearest future. And if I zoom out a little bit and look at what has been happening here since last week, you will see that we have been bullish in this market for quite a while now. And a retracement phase might likely be long overdue in this market. And if you take into consideration this impulsive move that got us to this point, you will see that price action appeared to a bit transition into something that looks more like a reversal pattern in the form of a head and shoulder pattern now look at the structure we have here this is the this looks like the left shoulder and this looks like the head and if you bring price back bring it back down here it appears we have a right shoulder here as this level is unable to break the previous high at the 1990 and with the situation we have here we need for the confirmation for this reversal pattern to be valid and you know what we look out for whenever we identify this kind of reversal pattern we want to identify a neckline area which we definitely want to be using to guide trading activity and at the same time we are going to be using it to confirm the validity of this reversal pattern so we have a neckline sitting exactly at the support line we identified at the beginning of the week just right around the 1970 now for this reversal pattern to be mature here we want to see price action break down retest that reversal pattern to give us that confirmation of a valid um, reversal pattern in this market so we could have a breakdown like this it could happen like this where a breakdown retest of the 1970 or it could even go as far as retesting this bullish trend line here to incite another wave of bearish momentum to the downside then a further breakdown of the 1960 level continued by selling pressure below the structure will definitely be welcoming additional position to our existing trade. Mind you, a breakdown of this reversal pattern is more or less going to be considered as a counter trend opportunity here which I normally call a retracement phase as we might be seeing profit taking activities in this market. So our TP target should be somewhere around the golden zone area which is always between the 50 and the 78.6 percent of the previous impulse leg and what do i mean by that so i would like us to go a little bit higher into the four hours time frame so that we can identify this impulse move to the upside here and in fact we have a very long impulse leg in this market so we're not caught in a dilemma right now as should we be picking the impulse leg from the bottom here or should we be picking it from this area around this point for the sake of not being too over ambitious here i will suggest that we pick it right from around the 1900 as this is the nearest impulse leg that we have on the structure so what we shall be doing here is to bring out our fibonacci retracement tool run it through the previous impulse leg here and we should be having an area between the 50 and the 78.6 percent which will be serving as the a uh, potential tp target for the cell momentum which i'm considering to be a um retracement phase so let's label this area so we call this area um a tp target for sellers and that same area will be serving as a potential buy zone just in case we start seeing 
um a reversal pattern around that area so i will be putting this right inside the box and we should be giving this a yellow color so that we can see things more clearly here so the tip target for the sell momentum if price action continues to trade below the 1970 is we have tip target between the 1948 and the 1912 so we should be aiming at a minimum of about um, 230 pips to a maximum of about um, five six hundred pips thereabouts. so it now depends on how price action reacts to this zone that will determine if we are going to be adding more position to our existing trade but i hope that uh before tomorrow's live session we would know what is going to be going on around here so let's see how price action reacts to the structure then we shall be um deciding if we are going to be adding more position to our existing trade however if it so happens that the bearish momentum is so strong and price action continues to find lower lows and lower highs around that area we might likely see the tippy target extended to somewhere right around the 1860 and why are we saying the 1860 well if you remember during the course of last week's trading session we saw the final breakout of that descending channel here which also shares a confluence with the 1860 and don't forget that we added we identified a reversal pattern here where we had the neckline of that reversal pattern sitting at the 1860 let me do a visual representation here so that you can get what i'm talking about so we saw this reversal pattern in the form of a double bottom structure and for that reversal pattern to mature we need a breakout of that neckline area which shares a beautiful confluence with the 1860. now that we have an engulfing engulfing move an impulsive move breaking out of that structure there is a high chance that price action may still come to as far back as the 1860 level in anticipation of another wave of bullish momentum to the upside so these are possibilities that we are going to be keeping in mind while we join that bearish move to the downside so these are my views here for a bearish signal on the XAU USD. Now that we have this expectation in mind, like I always say here, we always want to be as fluid as possible so that we can make money from the market. And the only way we can make money from the market is to ensure that we keep all perspective open, all opinion open, all possibilities open so that we can be part of any of these moves when price action evolves in that direction now that we look out for certain opportunities here we cannot ignore the potentials of a bullish momentum in this market obviously we have been on a bullish momentum for quite a while in this market and remember we identified this channel between the 1990 and the 1970 since the beginning of the week so for me to buy the xa usd that is if price action takes me out of the sell position I want to be seeing price action take out the resistant point at the 1,990 for me to be comfortable of joining a bullish momentum. And if price breaks out of that structure and continues to trade above this bullish trend line, we shall feel comfortable in our buy position. A further breakout of the $2,000 level will definitely welcome additional position to our existing trade. So that is that on the XA USD for today. If you have questions, feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section below. I will be checking the comment section from time to time while I dive into the last pair that we are going to be treating for today. And the last pair we are going to be treating for today is the card JPY, which was introduced to us by one of us in the room. I'm so sorry I forgot your name. If you are in the house, you can just let me know what your name is so that i can always use your name to refer to you whenever i'm about to mention you please all right so on the card jpy yesterday this is what we were able to identify here and in fact we were part of this um we were expecting a certain opportunity in this market if price action continues to the downside so let's quickly run through what our expectations are what structures we saw here yesterday and what made us make the decision we made on this chart well for the sake of clarity i would just want to quickly run through the higher time frame so that we can see things more clearly in this market 
So on the higher time frame here, that is on the daily time frame, the first thing we observe here, let me zoom out a little bit so that we can see things more clearly. So I was able to zoom out to as far back as 2020 on this chart. And when we did that, we were able to identify the fact that price action has been bullish on this chart. And to further emphasize the strength of the buyers in this market, we were able to connect the series of higher lows in this market to give us that beautiful bullish trend line that you can see on your screen. And it's quite obvious price action had consistently respected that bullish trend line. And during the live session yesterday, we were at a critical point in the market where price action was actually trading just right around the bullish trend line, where the possibility of price action respecting the bullish trend line is also an option we want to be looking at to drive a bullish momentum to the upside. And the other option is a breakdown of that bullish trend line to incite a sell-off in this market. And when we zoom into the current structure that is what has been happening here since the month of December last year, we saw this beautiful channel here figured out. As you can see, price has been trading between the 101.00 level, which is serving as a resistant point since December last year. That's about four, five months now. And we had a support line here sitting at the 96.00 area. So every attempt by the sellers to break down this, ch this channel has been met with strong resistance from the buyers. And obviously, we want to be considering the 96.00 area stroke the 95.00 level has a very strong demand zone in this market as it has lasted about um, uh, four to five months. How many months is that? December, January, February, March. That's four months now. It has been respecting that level so let's identify that area as a key structure as our demand zone for um for this time so this is demand zone here i would like to place this right inside the center of that box so we have a beautiful demand zone sitting around between the 96 and the 95 dollar area and you all know what we look out for whenever we have this kind of demand zone in a structure like this definitely you want to be looking out for buying opportunity within or above a demand zone you can only look out for selling opportunity if price action takes out the buy zone here breaking down that structure to the downside retest of structure selling pressure now a lower time frame only then can we be thinking of selling the card jpy at this particular point in time but as long as price remain above this demand zone we'll have no choice than to start looking out for buying opportunity on our lower time frame and in that regard when we scale down a little further to the downside here this is what i was able to identify on the four hours time frame during our live session yesterday and since the beginning of the month of march we saw how price action has been bearish on this chart and you can see what we have here lower lows and lower highs when we connected the series of lower lows and lower highs what do we have here a beautiful bearish trend line which further emphasizes the strength of the sellers in this market and with the breakdown of the 96 dollar level here um there is a there is this there is the possibilities of selling momentum coming in here as long as price remain below the bearish trend line so a breakdown of the 96 dollar level followed by selling pressure below this 96 dollar area that is if a breakdown of the 96 dollar level happens we want to hold on remember we are not going to join that bearish momentum right away because we are still within a strong demand zone in this market so if a breakdown of the 96 dollar level happens we want to see a confirmation which is likely going to be coming in the form of a retest of the 96 dollar area which as you can see also shares a confluence with that bearish trend line after which we start seeing selling pressure below that structure to further give us the confidence to sell the card jpy at this point but if this does not happen well well if price continues to remain above the 96 dollar area there is a high chance that we might be having a breakout of that bearish trend line to incite a reversal pattern in this market so right now where is price trading at this point price is currently trading around the 96 dollar 85 cent level a level which also shares a beautiful confluence with that bearish trend line so we want to be seeing how price action will be reacting to the structure to decide if we are going to be buying or selling the card jpy for today and if we scale down to a much more lower time frame to see our participants in this market 
has been reacting to the structure above this demand zone since the beginning of the week. This is what we were able to identify on the one hour time frame. Now look at the structure we have here. We saw the situation here where price since the beginning of this week has been trading between the $96.85 level which happens to be the resistant line for the week. This is the highest point price has ever been this week as well. And then we have the support line of the channel sitting at the 95.00 level. And with a resistant line here and price is currently trading around the resistant line in the last couple of hours, definitely we want to be seeing a breakout retest of the structure to give us further confirmation that buying opportunity is what we want to be doing in this market. So we shall be having ourselves right above the $96.85 level in order to be part of this bullish momentum to the upside. So I hope you have our buy stop around that area and hope that price continue to trade above that level going to the upside. So let's see what happens in the next couple of hours. And for those who had bought the car JPY above the $96.45 level, because I saw this this morning when I opened the chart, I saw that price action transitioned into a, something that looks more like a reversal pattern here. Um, we have the first touch here. Price dropped to as far as the $95 level, which happens to be the lowest point price action has ever been for this week. We saw price come back into the $96.450 level. We saw another price movement back to the downside. Price was unable to break the previous low, hereby giving us a new higher low here. And what do we have here? We have something that looks more like a double bottom structure. And whenever we have a double bottom structure like this, the next thing we want to be doing is to identify a neckline area which falls at exactly the $96.450. Why do I keep using the dollar? <laughs> so this 96.450 level here which happens to have been broken to the upside here by confirming and giving much validation to this reversal pattern that we have here. So there is a possibility that price could drop back into the $96.45.00 level to incite another wave to the upside. So let's take this into consideration as well. So if we have a drop back to the downside into the 96.450 level to retest that structure, we could be looking for buying opportunity on our lower time frame to join that rally to the upside. Then if for the breakout of the 96.85 level, which also shares a confluence with that bearish trend line, we'll definitely welcome additional position to our existing trade. So that is that on the card JPY. If you have questions, feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section below. And it's on this note, I want to be calling it a day here. And for those who are not part of the beginning of the live session, let's quickly run through and do a quick recap of what we talked about so far today. So the first commodity we looked at today is the US oil. And on the US oil, I told us all we already have a buy position running here. In fact, we have two positions running. That is if you are taking the second one above the $68.50 level. And one thing we said here that will be guiding our trading activity for today is this beautiful trend line here, this bullish trend line we identified here. So since the beginning of this week, price has been respecting that trend line. So we shall continue to hold on to bullish momentum if price action continues to stay above that bullish trend line. But if at any point in time price action drops below the trend line, that is the trend line is breached to the downside, then we want to be looking out for selling opportunities. And like I told you, we are not going to be jumping in right away considering the fact that it has been bullish since the beginning of this week. So we want to see some confirmations to happen, which is likely going to come in the form of a retest of the structure that was broken or the trend line here, selling pressure on our lower time frame, then we could join that decline to the downside. And if a further breakdown of the $65 level happens, we want to be adding more position to our existing trade. So that is that on the US oil for today. It's a very simple setup here. We look out for buying opportunity as long as price remain above that bullish trend line. And we look out for selling opportunities if price action breaks down, retest that trend line. Then we went on to talk about the US tech for today, which we already have a buy position running on the US tech. And remember, we identified this channel 
and I laid emphasis on this bearish trend line yesterday that it shall be guiding our trading activity and what we saw during the later part of the New York session yesterday was the breakout retest of that trend line to give us a buy opportunity in this market and since then price action has been trading in our favor and we had about we have about 70 pips running in profit at this particular point in time and in the last four to five hours now price action has been trading just around the resistant line of that channel we identified at the beginning of the week so i told us all we could be having a buy stop order right above the 12,620 with the hopes that price will be breaking out of that structure to welcome additional position to our existing trade however i stated here that uh, we should have moved our stop loss remember that obviously to ensure that we secure this current position and after considering the continued selling pressure around the 12,620 i told us all that the possibilities of selling momentum coming in here cannot be ignored so uh, what do we want to be seeing here to sell the us tech if selling momentum would ever come into this market today so i told us all that the 12,550 level will be our yardstick for selling opportunities here so we want to see price action break down to 12,550 remember we are not joining right away we are not getting too excited we want to wait for further confirmations to happen which is likely going to come in the form of a retest of structure selling pressure below this level then we could join that decline to the downside then a further breakdown of the 12,410 will be welcoming additional position to our existing trade so please be on standby to catch any of this opportunity when they finally happen and we went on to talk about the gpp usd for today and on the gpp usd we have only one position running right now as the second position was taken out after price action dropped below the 1.22450 level and to guide our trading activity today we have two trend lines here which i have been able to identify after connecting the series of ilos in fact i have a couple of them the major one here which is the thick one on your screen right now and the temporary one which is the thin one on your screen which has been respected since the beginning of the week but the appearance of the breakdown of that trend line here during the early hours of today is a sign that a momentum shift is likely going to be happening in this market so i told us all that you could have your sell stop order below the 1.22450 level and if price continue to trade below that level we want to be selling the jp usd however if you are a conscious trader and you need significant confirmation before you want to be joining your sell momentum here then i told us all that we want to be seeing a breakdown of this major bullish trend line here which also shares a beautiful confluence with around the 1.220 and the 1.221 level so if a breakdown of the structure happens retest of structure definitely will be giving us for the confirmation to add more position to our existing trade and mind you those who already bought above the 1.221 yesterday i have told us all to move our stop loss to secure the current position as we are not going to be buying again in this market unless price action breaks out of the 1.22850 level taking out all the sell position around that area to give us another confirmation to add more position to our existing trade so that is my view there on the gvp usd then we went on to talk about the xau usd here where we looking at things from zooming out further we can see that the structure here appeared to um the possibility of a retracement phase is very possible in this market after citing um a structure here that looks like a like a head and shoulder pattern we had the left shoulder we had the head we had the right shoulder here and the neckline is sitting just around the 1970 dollar level which also shares a beautiful confluence with our trend line so we want to see a breakdown of that structure which actually has happened to give us validity of this reversal pattern here so we continue to look out for selling opportunities as long as price remain below the 1970 and a further breakdown of the 1960 level will be welcoming additional position to our existing trade and considering the fact that we have been on a long-term bullish momentum in this market i told us all 
that we cannot ignore the possibilities of a bullish momentum coming in this market and because of this expectation we want to be positioning ourselves just right above the 1990 with the hopes that price will break out of that sorry 1985 So if price actually Sorry, my mic just went out so I had to fix the cord back. So as I was saying, around the 1985 above the structure Followed by buying pressure above that level would definitely be welcoming a buy position in this market. And if a breakout of the two thousand dollar level happens, we want to be adding more position to our existing trade. So it's quite a simple setup there on the XAU USD, and I hope you screenshot it so that you can use it as a reference point to guide your trading activity for today. Then we finally ended the day with the card JPY, which was introduced to us by someone in the house here. And we were able to identify the fact that price is sitting on a very strong demand zone here. And because of the fact that we are sitting on a demand zone, we have no choice but to look out for buying opportunity on this market. And the only thing that could make us sell the, the card JPY, like I said earlier, is we see a breakdown of that structure to the downside, selling pressure resume below structure, then we could be thinking of selling. But if this does not happen, and price remains above that bullish trend line above that demand zone we definitely want to be looking forward to buying opportunity and currently price action is trading along a key structure here which happens to be the resistant line for this week this is the highest point price action has ever been for this week that is the 96 dollar 85 cent level and one interesting thing about it is that it also shares a confluence with that bearish trend line that has been guiding bearish momentum since the beginning of this month so we need a breakout of the 96 dollar 85 cent level with buy pressure above that structure on our lower time frame for us to be able to feel comfortable buying the card jpy for this week so i hope that i was able to simulate all the possible scenarios that is likely going to be happening this week today rather and you are well equipped to be able to take advantage of any trading opportunity if the market presents to us during the new york session today i can see your comment 2470 good morning all right you're welcome and do have a wonderful day to you too i see your comments smoochie good morning to you 299 good morning dino i see your comments Susie mb good morning to you in fact good morning to everyone 1117 i see you too as well so it has been a wonderful moment with you guys today and i believe that we are well equipped to be able to, be able to take advantage of any trading opportunity during the new york session today you guys have a wonderful wonderful day to you and i look forward to seeing you same time tomorrow 10 a.m utc 11 a.m west african time as we come here again to review all the pairs that we have been monitoring since the beginning of the week in anticipation of the new york session tomorrow and you remember tomorrow is going to be a big big day for volatility in this market and we definitely want to be positioning ourselves in such a way that we can catch that move tomorrow so do have a wonderful evening everyone best of luck during the new york session today and see you on the other side tomorrow morning as usual bye bye <laughs>